The materials you'll need today will be a piece of newspaper or anything to protect your table, a piece of painting paper, your small styrofoam sheet, a pair of scissors, a dull pencil, or a ballpoint pen. It doesn't matter which, but just make sure the pencil's not very sharp, and some markers, and the last you'll need is a wet sponge. You don't want it really wet, just kind of damp. First, we're going to fold our piece of paper in half, and we're going to fold it vertically or hot dog style, which means it's going to look like a hot dog bun. So first, I'm going to match the top ends or the top corners so that they look the same. And when they are matched up, I'm going to place my finger on it so it doesn't move. And then I'm going to match the bottom corners and then just fold along the middle. And when you open it, you should see a straight line down the middle. This is going to show us where we need to cut. So we're going to take our pair of scissors and just cut along that middle line. Don't worry if some of it's crooked. It doesn't need to be completely straight. We're going to save one half of the paper for tomorrow and the other half of the paper we're going to use today. We're just going to set it aside because we don't need it right now. Now we're going to use our small styrofoam sheet and our dull pencil, which means it's not very sharp, or you could be using a pen instead. We're going to draw different types of lines, and if you can't think of any, you can always look in your art workbook and you can look at all the different types of lines you can use. You can use as many different lines as you want. You just want to fill up the entire styrofoam sheet. So before you get started, make sure your pencil is not very sharp. You want it kind of flat or dull because if it's really sharp, it's actually going to poke a hole in the styrofoam. So start drawing any line you want. And when you do it, you want to press down pretty hard with your pencil because we're trying to make a scratch in the styrofoam. If you are scratching with your pencil or your pen and you're putting a hole through the styrofoam, then you're maybe scratching a little bit too hard. Um, but you wanna make sure that you see a dent or a scratch after you add your line. So keep adding lines, make sure you're filling up the entire styrofoam sheet. You can make a pattern so you can have different lines repeat again and again and again, or you can just use all different types of lines and they could all be different, or you can do the same line over and over again. You get to decide. Once you're done with the styrofoam sheet, you're gonna take your newspaper and put it on your table and then one half of the paper that you cut today, your styrofoam sheet, your sponge that's wet or damp, and some markers. So first we're going to color right on the styrofoam sheet and we're gonna use markers to do that. You can use as many colors as you want or you can just use one color, that's up to you. So go ahead and take your marker and just color right onto the styrofoam sheet. Once you're done coloring your styrofoam, now you're going to use the sponge to wet your white piece of paper. When you pick up your sponge, make sure it's not dripping with water or too wet. If it is, just squeeze out some of the water. The sponge should just be kind of damp. You're gonna take your sponge and just wipe the top part of the white paper and then we're going to take our styrofoam and flip it over so the colored side is facing the paper. And once we put it down, we don't want to move it. So you can see I'm always keeping one hand on the styrofoam so it stays still. And the other hand, I'm kind of massaging the styrofoam plate. We really just want to press down, kind of like a stamp. So when you feel like you've pressed it long enough, Go ahead and carefully peel it off and you can see the design that you printed on your paper. Now I want to show you what happens when I'm not very careful with stamping my styrofoam plate. So when I turn it over and press it on the paper, I'm just kind of rubbing it all over. I'm not keeping it straight. I'm not keeping it in place. I'm just hitting it, slapping it a little bit. And when I peel it off, 
Yikes, look at the difference. You can see that you can't see my designs very well. It still is pretty colorful and it looks good, but you just can't see my designs as well. So make sure when you're pressing down and stamping it that you're always keeping one hand on it so it doesn't move. Now we're going to keep adding color with our markers and stamping it on our paper until we use up all of the white space on the paper. So now I'm just going through with the marker and adding more color on the back so that it has enough color to stamp. You can use the same colors that you did before or you can pick new colors, but just make sure if you're going to pick new colors that you're paying attention to what color it is because it might mix with your marker color and it might ruin that marker. Once you're finished coloring the styrofoam, you're going to take your damp sponge again and wet it on the spot that you're going to stamp on and then flip your styrofoam plate over so the colored side touches the paper and press down. Always make sure you keep one hand still so it keeps it in place and then you can press it down and massage it with the other hand. Make sure all of it touches the paper. When you're done, gently lift off and you can see your design. So you're just going to keep repeating these steps until you fill up all of the white space on the paper. I think it's just going to take about two more times to do that. So at the bottom, I have a little bit of white space left on my paper, but I don't really want to color the whole plate again. So I'm just going to take my wet sponge and just rub it on that paper and then stamp on whatever's left on my plate. And that's actually called a ghost print when you're not adding more color, just printing with what's left on it. So when you're finished, go ahead and leave it someplace to dry and make sure you hold on to this piece of paper and save it for the next time we have art in two weeks.